And check out the view from the CTV Skywatch camera looking north on 13th Street North. Lots of sunshine today. We're currently at 16 degrees. We did get to 18 degrees at noon. We've cooled off a couple of degrees. And our low was 4 degrees, which we hit at midnight and sat there for several hours. Winds are out of the west at 54 kilometers per hour, but they have been gusting much, much stronger than that throughout the daytime hours, especially right around the 2 o'clock mark this afternoon. Boy, was it windy on the streets of downtown Lethbridge. To the west of the Continental Divide, you see the patch of orange, very mild temperatures. You look at Medicine Hat sitting at 20 degrees. Lucky for you folks. And the warm air will continue. To the west of the Continental Divide, temperatures in the teens. What we're watching is low pressure center that is pushed off. It extended a bit of a trough in behind it. That's what gave us mostly cloudy skies throughout the morning hours. And this low pressure center as it's moved across kind of compressed the jet stream. So we had a direct west to east flow and that's why the winds were so strong. After all this passes, we have a nice air area of high pressure that's kicking in, but we still have some pockets of precipitation to the north that are continuing to drift off. Some of this is just cloud cover. Some of this is actually Virga because the winds are strong in areas to the north as well. And so you see that cloud cover drifting off and uh, the odd little, uh, you know, little deposit of precipitation making its way down to the surface. But the, for the most part, it's breaking up as it moves through. And that's pretty much the pattern here. Everything is kind of slicing and dicing as it moves across the mountains. We've still got a snow rain combination in the higher elevations uh, in the uh, in the mountains but as far as this side of the continental divide nice area of high pressure digs in remains pretty stable for the next several days until we get into Tuesday into Wednesday and then we're expecting a return of some precipitation another low pressure is building on the BC coast and that'll eventually migrate into southern Alberta down east looking at single digit numbers in St. John's we've got uh, cooler temperatures in parts of the Maritimes but warm enough that the precipitation coming across the Great Lakes big system moving from west to east is going to be falling as far as precipitation goes in the form of some heavy rainfall showers, but it is meeting some cooler air. Ottawa tomorrow will be two degrees, and so heavy snowfall warnings are out for the Sudbury area and areas in parts of southern Quebec as well, and could see a smattering of snowfall in the capital. 10 degrees in Winnipeg right now, some light showers in Regina and Saskatoon, 14 in the capital. Vancouver preparing for a sun and cloud mix with a you know, dollop of shower activity over the next few days. A white horse expecting some flurries overnight tonight and then a sun and cloud mix and yellow knife uh, holding on for a few more days of just uh, pretty much total sunshine during the daytime hours so good for them nice break from the cold temperatures and the you know damp and snowy conditions east kootenay looking at partly cloudy skies tonight one degree for a low 16 for a high tomorrow sun and cloud mix very pleasant and not too windy in the afternoon hours for the crow's nest pass mainly cloudy tonight windy tonight zero for a low tomorrow west winds at about 30 kilometers per hour the Jet stream is going to rise a little further to the north and won't be quite as windy tomorrow in all the regions. Clear skies in Medicine Hat tonight down to minus 2 degrees or minus 3, pardon me, for a low. And then sunny and 16 for a high tomorrow. Winds will be out of the west at about 30 kilometers per hour. But boy, lots of sunshine. And here in Lethbridge, we'll have less wind tonight, less wind tomorrow, which is good news. 17 degrees for a daytime high and a sun and cloud mix. And the five-day forecast, which is what everyone's been waiting for, there it is up on your screen, 23 degrees on Sunday, 25 degrees on Monday. We do start to cool off late in the day Tuesday, expecting some showers to redevelop. Jet stream is going to sag to the south again and cool us down a little bit. It looks like next weekend, though, which is a long ways away, of course, but it looks like we'll start to see some recovery and back into double-digit temperatures. Very possible. So that's the good news. Now, our CTV citizen salute. We want to say hello and congratulations to Arnie, who has been a volunteer with various organizations in southern Alberta and southeastern BC, particularly working with seniors and we love that so we have a basket here for you that's it for me have a safe and happy weekend everyone see you monday